start, I'm at the top now. This is, I think this is the bit of Roman road that goes along here. There's a, there. There's a couple of blokes just past me with a dog. Um, yeah, so that's the town. I'd call it a town, it's not a village. It's a small town down there. So it's a tourist town. Plenty to eat and drink and what have you. Go and buy stuff and gift shops and what have you. Nice little town. Yeah, that's where I've come from, down there. You can see the hills in the distance over there. I, I think I want to, I don't want to go right over the, the distance, but there's some, there's uh, some hills here somewhere. So I'll have to come out the other end of the sound to, to do them later on. But um, yeah, this is the view from here. I can't see much here because all this is in the way. Uh, you see right over there. But I think, I'm fairly sure, it's either over here or a bit over there is uh, the Welsh border. I could walk it from here over here to Wales. It's amazing. It's, it's nice land up here. It's, it's, and it's, once you get up here, I think there must be a road up here somewhere. If you can park up up here somewhere on a, on a little car park or something, this, this pathway is, is doable. It would make a nice little walk for your, your grandmother or your mum. If, if she's got bad hips or bad bones, yeah, the older person will be able to take this, take this uh, little bit of a walk. But I'll, I'll go. I'm going up there, and um, I'll see a bit later on. I just I had to. But the camera went a bit wonky then because I had to pick up my poles got my trust poles use them to walk up and down the hills with uh, but I don't really need them when I'm walking on the flat surface like this up here it's not too bad it's a bit bit chilly but it's not really it's not really cold cold I mean I, I haven't got my gloves on uh, but I had to put my woolly hat back on because my head was getting a bit cold a bit overcast Chuck it down with rain. I didn't say anything about rain today, but around about midday, the sun is supposed to come out. This, all this is supposed to clear. But, uh, oh, look at this. There's a freaking pond here. I don't think it's supposed to be a pond, but that's where the water's landed. Look at this. Look, I go over here and have a check to see how deep it is. I'll shove one of my poles in. In fact, I'll shove them both in. This. It looks like a proper freaking. It looks like a proper pond. Oh, maybe it is a proper pond. It's uh, quite deep. Did you watch this? This is just as spectacular as the Peak District. This is, and it's a bit more cheaper to get to as well. And the train I got on to come in goes all the way over to the other side of Wales, so uh, to the sea as well. It's got there's, there's got to be some sort of a beach over there. Uh, and I've checked on. 47 return for day return, but I think it takes a, a bit more time to get over there. Yeah, well, look, this is a rail replacement bus, so I, I shouldn't be going this, to this side of the year. But I'm definitely going to head over there and see, see where the train ends up, see if there's any hills and mountains over there that I can go through. I can't climb mountains. This, this sort of walk is okay with this sort of hill, big district hills as well. But this is going to be, uh, be my new playground. This is there's another runner, another runner coming up behind me. So I'm going to switch it off, put it back in my pocket. Thing 
over there it's got like a raised bump around it that's where I want to go over there as well get to the top of that one I'll have to do this carry on doing this walk and uh, get to the bottom of this one and I'll get a bike to eat in um, Church Stratton and then go over and do the other one I've got I've got until about four o'clock to park, so I should be able to do it. So I don't keep stopping to admire the views. I mean, look at that! That is bloody. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I, 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 I know you're not. I don't think you're supposed to come up here camping, but on, on a nice warm summer's day or something, I come up here and bring the billy bag and sleeping bag up with me, and just sleep out, do a bit of space. Space staring, star stargazing. Yeah, so uh, right, let's crack on with this, otherwise I'll never get it done. A lot of joggers over here. There's quite a few of them that are um got to be in their sixties or seventies, I should imagine. Loads of them. Bloody fit enough to. Why I didn't start this years ago because I've only been doing this walking, rambling around the countryside like this. I only started a few months ago. Been to the Peak, Peak District quite a few times over the last few months. You know, I, I have Sundays and Mondays off of work, so but I, I can only do Mondays because Sundays, because I get on a train, Sundays are a bit slow, like so. I do Mondays, but but I think when it gets a bit warmer. I think I'm going to come out on a Sunday with my, my camp gear as well, do a bit of a one night, one night wild camp. Yeah, because I mean that, that, that hill over there, that looks spectacular. That, like, I just want to go over there and climb it out, but I, I don't think I will because it's probably four or five miles away or something. But I think, yeah, that, that I think that, that over there is, is, the, is the Welsh border, I think. And, well, I'm fairly sure that, you know, most of this view here, distance is the Welsh border. But I think I looked online, I looked at the maps and everything, I think it said it was about six or seven miles away. It's like, it's amazing that I could be in like England one minute and then an hour later, or well, maybe four hours later, I could be over there in Wales. So before anybody else decides to ride past me and make me jump, I'm going to head up to that point. But it's weather. Cloudy, a bit 
dark, but there's, uh, there is bits of blue sky poking through. But uh, it's, uh, the sun's, all this is supposed to clear, the sun's supposed to come out. Maybe that will happen when I'm over the other side of the, of the town, Church Stratton, when I get up to the Roman Fort. So, this is just lovely. I can't, I'm just in awe of the place. Spectacular. Yeah, this is uh, uh, this toposcope at Pole Bank marks the diamond jubilee of the founding of the council for the protection of rural England. It is provided by the Shropshire branch of C P R E, I think it says, with the generous support of the National Trust and others who care for the countryside. Bloody brilliant! That. And it's got like a freaking thing on the top and it, it tells you where everything is so see it on the floor, you can see that in in. it's over in that direction yeah. see Birmingham over in this direction bloody yield freaking views look it's a, oh what a 360 view this is I'm gonna have to get my 360 camera and take a 360 picture of this lot state of this now bloody this is fantastic this is I'm just getting so I'm just getting so emotional I don't know why <laughs> well that's definitely that hill over there that's definitely the hill I want to climb at some point I'll probably come back up here or somewhere around here to just just to go over to there probably take me about a day to go over there that's a camera trip I think yeah, so I think I want to go up the path. The path goes right round or something. Or what it might do anyway, I don't know. It might just turn into a bit of a grassy sort of muddy path. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the top. So I'm going to get a 360 camera out and take um, a 360 picture of it, um, which I should probably post uh, one of the Facebook Facebook shops, the group Shropshire. Shropshire Hills Group. So, yeah, I'll just leave you for a few seconds to admire these views. So, I found this little shelter here. I don't know what it's for. I think it's for bird hunt, uh, bird, bird watching, what have you. And maybe you could even freaking kip in here one night if you wanted to. It's a handy little shelter to have. But I'm going to stop and have a cup of tea here. Let's turn my freaking turn my gas on.
Oh, I had it too high up. Oh, the gas was running out. It can't be. It feels like quite a lot in there. I should, should, have got, should have bought a spare one as well. Yeah, that looks okay now that I've turned it down. I think I had it too high up. So, yeah, a cup of tea, I think. Might get my drone up around here, I think. Yeah, this is uh, there's a little no, another little road here, right, right the other side of this gate. There's another road there. Uh, lovely view from here. Look of the some more hills and mountains over there. Bloody brilliant! This is here. Fantastic. Right, I'm gonna put the camera away and make a cup of tea. I think.